Hi everybody, welcome. My name is Boo and today I'm starting my first ever series on here. I am starting the Sims in Bloom Legacy Challenge, which is by a Sims Garden on Tumblr. Um, I had a little look around for a while deciding what challenge I wanted to start and honestly this one really sparked my interest because I love flowers and it kind of reminds me of the Not So Berry Challenge, which I have half completed before on my own time. Um, in such ways that you sort of have to complete different rules for each generation and it also is a I think it's a 10 or 11 um, generation challenge each generation inspired by a flower so if you have a look here this is my sim that I will be starting the challenge with her name is Daisy and she is obviously inspired by the flower Daisy which is our first flower and our first generation <laughs> that we need to complete um, for this challenge um, I'll just quickly pop over and show you guys the rules. So it sort of says for each generation we need to complete the um, designated aspiration, career and skill. Um, anything with an asterisk next to it is optional. We can choose to complete this if we want to. Um, there are colours associated with every generation. So for Daisy it's white and yellow. It sort of gave you free reign of how you want to go about this. Whether you want to make your sim um, yellow and white inspired or the clothes or your house whatever you want to do it says for each new generation start with a small house slash apartment and 100 simoleons um, if I quickly pop back into my game I've actually <laughs> kicked out the people living in this house and completely taken over this is definitely not a starter home um, I have deleted a few of the items from the rooms that I just don't think are necessary so even though this is not a starter home at all it only has very like basic furniture items and nothing that would put me at an advantage. Um, I'm going to quickly just set my simoleons to 1000 like it asks you to in the rules. We'll continue on with the rules. Um, play on a lifespan you wish. Short is not recommended. I've got mine set to normal. I just think long is too long especially when you have um, toddlers and children in the house and it's just a little bit boring when you play on a long lifespan so I think normal is going to work for me. And then if you decide to play this challenge, at me or tag me, I'll definitely do that. All right, so our first generation is Daisy. As I said, I'm going to read a little bit of backstory that a Sims garden has given us. Gardening has always been your passion. Owning a large, healthy garden is all you've ever wanted in life. Even if your nails are constantly have soil under them and you have so many broken pots, you've lost count. Your happy place is meditating in the shade of the fruit trees that you grew yourself from a tiny saplings. You sit and wonder what your family will grow to do and you hope that they will flourish just as beautifully as your garden has. This is the start of your family legacy. As I said, I've taken out a lot of things from this house, but I've also placed a few things. So I've placed a little um, meditation cushion out here. I was thinking of putting it inside. However, the rules say that you um, will be meditating along your fruit tree. So I've got a bit of like soil along the edge of our lot um, where we'll grow our fruit trees and hopefully we can meditate here outside next to it. There was previously a pool here which I deleted just because I again didn't want to put myself at an advantage by having a pool. I'm not really sure how that does put me at an advantage but you know what I mean. Um, but the one thing I have kept is this greenhouse because I had no idea this was here when I picked this lot. I put Daisy in Brindleton Bay um, to start this legacy and honestly this was I think one of the smallest houses that you could get. Um, just letting you guys know, know that I am playing in Simlissy's save file. Um, I'll pop it up on the screen here. This is the one I'm using. I've never played in this save file before. Um, however, just going through the worlds, all of the lots are so stunning and I felt really bad kicking out the family from this house played um, on this lot before in a obviously like a different house and I just love the little like tunnel and walkway um, and if we come out here there is places for us to go fishing and if we get a pet we can take them for a walk around here so it just seems like a perfect little lot for us. Right, now I'm just going to read what we have to accomplish this generation. I've already set this in Cass. Our traits are cheerful, clumsy, and loves outdoors. Um, our career is gardening. Um, currently, we don't have a job, but that'll be one of the first things that I do. The skills that we have to max out are gardening, fishing, and wellness. So lucky for us, we'll be doing lots of gardening. We're doing lots of wellness 
and we have a little place to fish right near our house so that shouldn't be too hard. So what we need to accomplish is living on a lot with the lot challenge simple living. I've already added that. We have to grow a cow plant and keep it alive for as long as we live. If it dies, immediately plant a new one. I am a little bit worried about this. I'm not too sure how I'm supposed to get a cow plant. I know I have fished them before, so I'm hoping that's something we get lucky. But um, if we have to keep it alive for as long as we live, that might be one of the first things that we need to set get set on just before it gets away from us. Uh, we have to grow five perfect plants, marry a sim who has the love outdoors trait, um, gain the outdoorsy lifestyle and grow a death flower are optional. I think I might try and gain the outdoorsy lifestyle, but I don't know if I want to grow a death flower. I think I'll need to actually Google how to do that because I've never done that before. <laughs> All right, so this is what we need to accomplish this generation. So we may as well jump straight back into it with our Sim Daisy. All right. <laughs> At the moment, she's just playing incredible sports on this tablet. I actually think that I will remove that from her and just delete it because I don't feel like this is an essential thing we need in our house and I probably missed it when I was doing it before. All right, I'm gonna set our money, whoopsies, um, back to a thousand simoleons. Set it, perfect. Hello? Who are you? Juliana, okay. <laughs> I guess we'll come say hi. I'm not really sure what she's doing at our place. She part of the welcome wagon, maybe? They're not here yet. That's quite bizarre. All right. Hello. Oh, we've already got a sentiment with her. First impression responsible. Lovely. Well, I mean, you guys can go ahead and be friends, I suppose. You know, have a little chat, ask her about her day ask her a favorite color. I think I'm going to guess that it's pink from this look. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is have Daisy join the gardening career. Um, I'm pretty sure once you join a career, you don't start until at least the next day. So I think it's a good idea to get her on that straight away. Gardener, join. And our first day of work is actually tomorrow. Oops. Um, should we get a head start on the assignment? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so we need to purchase some garden seeds. So what I'm gonna do is say hi to our other neighbor. Hello. I don't understand. The welcome wagon is not here, but there's just like a bunch of Sims showing up at my house. Is this like a new update or something? Hello. First impression, pretentious. Well, don't talk to her if you don't like her then. Let's go purchase some seeds in the back. I think I'm just gonna get one of everything not the magical plants or the catnip though. <laughs> All right, I'll get her to come out here and we'll open these ones up. I'm just gonna put the walls down um, for now so we can access our greenhouse easier. I think we've actually got some things in here already. <gasps> oh, there's a daisy bush in here. That's so cute, I didn't even realize. And we've got bees too. Whoa, okay. Um, I'm gonna plant some trees sort of close to where we're meditating. I might just plant three. Um, and also we have the simple living trait. So whatever I don't plant, I'm gonna put in the fridge. Otherwise we're not gonna have any food. <laughs> I hate the simple living um, lot challenge. It honestly bothers me so much. <laughs> All right, we'll plant some carrots and we'll plant some grapes. Um, we've already got some flowers um, and I've got some herbs as well. So I might plant some of the herbs in this pot. We'll put one sage here, whoopsies, one parsley here. And what are you? Basil. <laughs> Do you guys say basil or basil? <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to just leave everything else for now. Actually, I might plant the spinach. Um, Welcome wagon. Oh my goodness. What has happened to my game? Why is this so glitched out? Oh no. They're here. All right, let's come say hi. Let's invite our neighbors in. I love how Sim is given um, all of the Sims that were in the game previously makeovers. I can't even recognize half of them. Um, I've also just turned my game sound down a bunch because I had filmed a video previously to this and I basically couldn't hear my microphone at all because my same my my 
Sims game sound was just way too loud. <laughs> I kind of rhymed, hey? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put the rest of our veggies in the fridge. I don't know if we can cook anything with these herbs, but I'm just going to put them in anyway. I'm also just going to put the daisies, I think, in the front yard. Because this is Daisy's house. I'm going to get her to come plant them. When she's done talking. Alright, we'll greet our new neighbours. We don't really like this lady, so we probably like won't talk to her. What are you guys doing? Do you make food? Are you eating my food? Where did this even come from? Lactose free. Daisy has flourished as much as her crop of germinating plant friends. Is this budding emotion a sign that she likes gardening? Um, hell yeah, I hope she does. <laughs> Otherwise it'd be really difficult for us. Right, I'm just gonna say hi to everyone. Um, I think it's definitely good to get out of our neighbors. Um, fruitcake, or I probably, I'll get her to come try it. I've never had a sim that actually um, enjoys fruitcake before. So I'll get her to try it just in case. But if she doesn't like it, I'm going to throw it out because I just don't want to do that to our poor girl. Okay, moment of truth. <laughs> What's your thoughts, love? Oh, <laughs> she hates it. All right, I think that's a sign that we won't keep the fruit cape, even though we have no food. <laughs> At least she's not hungry anymore. She's uncomfortable. I don't want her to be uncomfortable, so I think we'll just leave it. Oh my goodness, we're already excellent of our career. I think once we go in tomorrow, we will like get a promotion on our first day. I'm tempted to buy that money bin just to make things easier for us, but I think it costs more than a thousand simoleons, so I don't really want to waste all of our money right now. Oh, by the way, um, I forgot to mention, but uh, Lily, Poppy, Juniper, and Kale are actually her family. So if we have a look in her family tree, she has Kale, Bloom, and Lily, Bloom as her mum and dad. And then she's got two siblings. So Juniper is the same age as her. They're not um, twins, but they're both young adults. And then her sister, Poppy, is a teenager. So we probably will visit them at some point, um, but not right now. And I don't know what has happened to my game. I don't know if one of my mods is out of date, but this is very glitchy. <laughs> Hopefully it still ages her up. Well, you're lucky that there are burgers outside. I'm not really sure where they came from, but we'll put them in the fridge. All right, I'm going to get her to come um, water all of her plants so we can hopefully level up our gardening skill. What are these ones as well? Oh, her sister Poppy is here. All right, we'll invite her in, but she'll have to wait until we finish watering our plants. Look at her go. Oh, she's so cute. I really tried to give her um, like a elfy vibe with like the little sticky out ears. I just think it really suits her like personality because she's supposed to be like cheerful and like lighthearted and happy. That's how I see her anyway, so... I thought I would try and like match her aesthetic. Um, I probably will change her clothes every few episodes just because I get bored quite easily and I just like love Cass. <laughs> but I think for now it's fine. No, no one's seen her outfits yet so I, there's no point changing them. <laughs> oh my goodness we've already completed the first part of our milestone. I don't even read what it was. Oh my goodness you beat us to it Daisy. That's so funny. Okay, so for the next part, we need to achieve level four of the gardening skill and evolve five different plants. That shouldn't be too easy, to be honest. Did our sister leave or did she come in? <gasps> oh no, I think we <laughs> I think we took too long and she left. But all these other people are still here. I'm just going to send everyone home. Goodbye. Please leave. It's seven o'clock at night. You've been here since like one o'clock. I just moved in. Thanks for bringing fruitcake, but it was disgusting. <laughs> oh no, she's gone after her. She must be over here somewhere. Poppy! <laughs> Where are you? Oh, she's over here. Cute. There she is. Oh my goodness, it's a stray dog. <gasps> I'm so tempted to get a dog or a cat. I feel like this teen totally has dibs on this dog though. And he's so smelly. Should I come say hi? Wait, where are you going? Oh my goodness, you're letting your sister in. Okay, maybe we won't say hi to the stray dog. Maybe that'll be a goal. <laughs> oh no. 
Gobbly. Oh no. At least these two are friends. I feel so bad. I love Brindle Swim Bay. It's one of my favorite worlds, but I also hate it because I hate the strays. I always adopt them and then I get so frustrated because I hate having pets in my house um, for lots of reasons. One, because they die eventually and then I'm so sad. And two, I really just like having dogs in the house um, because you have to take them for walks and let them out to pee all the time. And it just, oh, I just feel like I never have time for it. Like I'm definitely a Sims cat person because cats just like do their own thing. <laughs> Much like real life, I suppose. Um, however, for Daisy, I feel like, oh, I don't know. I think she might enjoy a dog because she's an outdoorsy person, but I feel like she's going to be so busy that maybe not. I don't know. Let's just like see what strays come by and which ones we connect with. Oh, this dog is out here. Let's go say hi to him. Poppy's on the phone anyway. She's being a bit rude. She like came over and just started <laughs> talking on the phone. So we're just going to go get some stray dogs. <laughs> go say hi to the stray dog. Let's go, Daisy. Hi there. Golby. Oh, did we not say hi? Oh my goodness. Get off your phone. Where is he going? Okay. So is he coming to our house? Oh, Golby. I want to say hi to you. I don't understand why it won't let me say hi. Is it because he's asleep? Go wake him up. Hi there. <laughs> I'm sorry to wake you up, sir, but you are incredibly sick and I would love to take you to the vet. <laughs> I'm going to say hi to him. Do you like us? <gasps> oh, we're acquaintances. I'm going to give him a treat. No, don't leave. What are you doing? We'll get to know him. I think it's a him. <laughs> oh, look, if he has a good personality, I might, I might adopt him. But I want to get to know him first. And then we'll have to take him to the vet. Oh no, he's a troublemaker. He's a troublemaker. I don't know what to do. Should I take him? Oh my god, he's so cute. I don't know what dog this is. Is it like a pug? It kind of looks like a pug, but I don't really know what pugs look like. <laughs> I know they have squishy faces, but... Do they have these sad ears? Maybe. Couch potato. Okay, look. Let's get up our friendship and if he doesn't leave in time for us to adopt him, we will adopt him because yes, he's a troublemaker, but he's also friendly and a couch potato and he's like kind of yellow and white. Like <laughs> it just feels like it should be, are we still pampering him on the couch? Wait, where are we going? No, I don't want to sit. Go, go talk to your new friend. If you leave, get up. What are you doing? Get up, Daisy. He's going to leave us. No. Goldie, <laughs> where are you going? Ooh, hello. All right, let's come dig this. <laughs> Is that a cat? Oh, no. I don't understand why he's leaving us for. Oh, <gasps> get here right now. Okay, let's see if we can adopt him before he runs away. Stop. You can't go anywhere in here. What are you going to do? Oh my god. We stayed up all night trying to talk to this dog. Whoops. I think we have work today too. Oh no. Three hours. All right. <laughs> That's going to be the worst start. I'll probably spend some time updating the calendar. Ooh. It's on 10 to 6. What time do we have work? Until 3. I think maybe we'll go to the flea market after work. Um, but I'm going to... Oh my god. Look, I'm just going to work from home, to be honest. I, <laughs> oh no, this is what I was trying to say before. I kicked out the people that were previously living in this house and I felt so bad because there's just like photos of them all over the house. I'm so sorry, Sim Lissy. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to sell these as well. All right. How is our sleeping going? terrible we need to speed that up um it's new skill day so i kind of want to maybe do some meditation as well um just to boost our skills a little bit since we need to do that do we have leftovers in here so i'm just going to make use of it <laughs> the random hot dogs that we have that someone cooked delicious <laughs> before we have to start making like fruit salads because we have nothing else all right get her to use the toilet 
the one thing I'm so grateful for for turning off my sound is that I cannot hear the Sims poofing anymore. I, <laughs> I was always so bad. I hate that. If you know, you know. Okay, so what is on the agenda today? Oh my god, purchase some more seeds. Vegetables. Great. Is that all we have to do today? <laughs> Wonderful. We should work from home every day. <laughs> right, out you go. I love her little like summer outfit, like the little yellow strappy top with her skirt. Oh, she's pretty cute. And I love this hairstyle. I can't remember who it's by, but like the claw clip, super cute. Okay, I think we'll also just water everything because we want to build up our skill. Um, and I'll open this seed packet as well. Oh yeah, I forgot we had bees. Okay, let's change into our beekeeper suit. Oh, can you not access them? Come in here. Can you do it now? Yeah, you just come inside. Dork. <laughs> oh, our mum is calling us. Daisy, I need to challenge myself. A new job might be a solution. What do you think? Yeah, I think you should try a new career. I don't think you have a current career, mum. So definitely do that. <laughs> I'm gonna collect the honey. Can I not bond with the bees? Oh, I can't be done while I'm wearing a suit. Bond with the bees now? Hopefully they don't sting me. Oh, she's loving it. So cute. I love this little hat on her. <laughs> hey, that actually went well. What the heck? So we bonded with the bees and we've got a new skill. What skill did we do yet? Video gaming? God, it must have been gardening. That's weird. All right. Um, have we done everything we need to do for our work from home? Yeah, we probably should get a promotion when we promotion probably should get promoted when we go in next. All right, I'm gonna just get her to do this for a minute, um, and then I guess I'll just come back to it in a little while. Okay, so Daisy has leveled up to level two of the wellness skill. I'm gonna get her to stop doing that for now, um, and I'm actually gonna take her over here to see if we can go fishing. I just want to see who's oh. <gasps> Who are you? Oh, Yogi. I'm going to come say hi to this cat. <laughs> I was going to go fishing, but I'm going to come say hi to this cat. He's so cute. Oh, is he coming to us? Wait, where did the cat go? I need to know where this cat went. Yogi, where are you? Oh my goodness. I'm like blind or something. <laughs> that cat was so cute. I think it was like a Scottish fold. Oh, I thought it would come. What are you doing washing your hands? You should have gone and said hi to Yogi. I'm actually so bummed that I didn't get to adopt um, Goldie. And then <laughs> I saw Yogi and he was like so cute. And now he's gone too. I don't understand why the pets don't love me. Okay, well, I guess since we aren't adopting a cat or a dog um, this episode, apparently... <laughs> Um, I'll come and do a little bit of fishing before, oh, has, actually has the festival started? The flea market, 10 a.m. to 6. Is that today? Yeah, oh, it started at 10. I don't know what I'm thinking. All right, let's go there. Let's pick our brother, Juniper. All right, here we are. We've arrived at the fair. I don't know why we're wearing our exercise clothes, but that's all right. Um, I'm just going to do the decide his life. <laughs> Mod, I'm going to come in and give him a hug, maybe? Yeah. Be like, hi, bro. How have you been? Long time no see. What are you doing with your life now? <laughs> that I've just said it. I'm going to talk about getting out. We need to get that outdoorsy lifestyle. So going out such a good thing. Oh, look at them. These two look super similar, Um, honestly. <laughs> what are you doing? Chatting. This is like a crazy story, ma'am. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Let's go check out the um, the flea market and see if there's any furniture we might be interested in purchasing. I want to stick to the yellow and white theme, um, but unfortunately it doesn't look like there's anything here in those colours. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can haggle and get a snow globe. <laughs> oh, the dinosaur one. Look at this little guy. I don't think I've ever really looked at the snow globes in this game before. Maybe we should collect them, but we don't live in the city. Maybe another generation. No? What? Gregory? Ah, you're rich. You're already rich and you're selling snow globes. What is this? Let's come watch this artist. 
Let's tip her. Um, five simoleons. Ma'am. <laughs> Janice, why are you here with your, <laughs> with your biddies out? <laughs> what are you doing, sweetheart? The sim is so cute. Oh, she's a global superstar. Ooh. Let's see if we can attempt, attempt an introduction. Oh, stop talking to Jeffrey. He's not going to give us any anything for free. Oh, God. How'd that go? <gasps> no. Awkward. <laughs> Let's ask her for a selfie then. Oh, my goodness. She wouldn't even let you come close to her. Yeah, well, to be fair, she's a global superstar. So it's like, what, five-star celebrity or something, probably. That's all right. How are we going with our... Uh, we're not hungry at all, actually. Um, I don't think we will buy anything to eat. I kind of, I really wanted to get something while we were here. That's unfortunate. Oh, this lamp's cute. Oh, can I afford it? I can, but should I? Mm. All right, maybe we'll come sit and try this together with Juniper. I, uh, the hookah pro. There she goes. <laughs> First time smoking the hookah. <laughs> Did she like it? <gasps> Wait, what? This weed is terrible. Oh no, that must be one of my mods. <laughs> Thinking, okay, that's all right. Let's just not do that then. <laughs> I know you love your plants, but um, we'll try and keep this a bit more PG. <laughs> I would love to be friends with um, the celebrity, but unfortunately she's not having a bar of us. Um, we do actually have to marry an outdoorsy sim for this challenge so i think the more people we introduce ourselves to the more chance we'll have of finding someone with that um, outdoorsy lifestyle i have actually added two sims with the outdoorsy lifestyle um, into this challenge but i'm not sure whether they would be a romantic interest for daisy um, or just the friendship so that will be our like last case scenario type thing but i am sort of hoping to find someone that has the outdoorsy lifestyle um that's just a townie so we'll see i might actually next episode make a club um and people with the outdoorsy lifestyle can join <laughs> only so hopefully we can like see who around has it and we can you know pick from our pool <laughs> all right i'm gonna send daisy home now um the festival is packed up completely and she's still out here just talking making friends which is lovely um uh, but i'm gonna send her home all right we are back home now. It is eight o'clock at night. We did a really good job at work today besides um, staying up super, super late and then having to work from home because we were trying to bond with the dog. <laughs> um, so hopefully we can go in. I think we have work tomorrow, Tuesday. So tomorrow we can probably spend um, finding that cat or finding that dog. <laughs> and then hopefully we'll get promoted next time we are um back at work um except for that i think today was pretty good like our flowers are looking great uh we're friends with the bees we got to hang out with our family we made some new friends um we decided that we don't like fruitcake which is not very surprising at all but you know it's one of those things so i might leave this one here for now um but i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did please like like subscribe leave a comment you know it really helps um, get some traction on my page so that would be really appreciated um, until next time though bye